Hello and welcome back to the channel. Thanks for stopping by for yet another video. I do appreciate that and as always I appreciate you. So what we have here says Arctic air plunges into the Great Lakes northeast and mid-Atlantic. Now before we get into it I actually live in Ohio and uh, it's been cold here uh, in my area. Like I said I'm about an hour south of Cleveland and about an hour north of Columbus. So um, that kind of gives you the region that I am in. Now, with that said, it's already been in the, the low 20s, uh, even teens certain days, and that's relatively cold, you know. So we've, we've been already going through some of this cold, cold weather here, and um, not massive amounts of snow, at least in my area, thankfully. Um, but we have gotten a little bit of snow, but it's been really cold, so this isn't good news, I guess, for me as well since, uh, here in Ohio. Now it goes on to say that Arctic air dropping through the northern and eastern U.S. and a storm off the east coast will bring periods of snow, very cold wind chills, and hazardous travel conditions from the upper Great Lakes to the northeast today on December 13, 2017. So that's supposed to be today. And I can tell you right now, at least in my area as I'm making this video, um, we're definitely not getting any snow here. And uh, let's see here. I believe, well, right now it's... It's, it says there's supposed to be light snow, but it's not snowing currently. But it is 23 degrees right now here where I'm located. Um, it also goes on to say that maximum temperatures will be about 10 to 20 degrees Fahrenheit, um, below average along the East Coast Wednesday. Now it says after the departure of a coastal low impacting the New England area with a wintry mix, um, early this morning, cold and breezy conditions will be felt in its wake, especially across the northeast where highs will struggle to get out of the teens and 20s for locations away from the coast. NWS forecaster Richard Otto noted. Now, my little brother actually lives in the New England area about around Boston. Um, so, I mean, so he's obviously dealing with a lot, probably... Uh, worse conditions as far as snow right now than I am. I haven't actually contacted them to find out, but it goes on to say that in fact much of the East Coast will see high temperatures around 10 degrees Fahrenheit below average with a near 20 degree Fahrenheit below average across portions of the Northeast. Now it says lake effect snow showers will continue downwind of the Great Lakes um, through Friday, but there will be enough um, shifting of the wind direction to prevent much in the way of heavy accumulation. So I guess there's good news there. It's not supposed to be heavy accumulations. Um, if anyone's seen what was going on in Buffalo um, this previous weekend with the amounts of the snow that they got, it was just unreal. But I guess that's, you know, um, but that's the stuff. Uh, here in Ohio, we haven't, at least like I said in my area, seen any kind of snow accumulation anywhere near that. Um, but it does go on to say that the quick moving clipper system will track through the central Great Lakes region today, bringing accumulating snow to portions of the lower Michigan and to portions of Ohio and Pennsylvania. Now it says anywhere from three to six inches is expected for these locations. Um, through Thursday morning, a weak system is expected to move across the central plains during that, the day on Thursday, bringing light snow showers, possibly mixed with rain, um, but any snow accumulations should be very light. But still, if the, any snow mixed with rain, I, I hate All right, so let's take a look at some of these pictures and videos here. Um, it says, a band of moderate snow associated with an impressive clipper system will continue to shift southeast through the day, dropping four to seven inches of snow from the from north uh, Wisconsin to south uh, Minnesota. So let's take a quick look here at this video and see what it shows us. Okay, so you can kind of see the storm system as it's moving through um, Wisconsin and Minnesota there. Now it's supposed to drop four to seven inches in those areas. So if you're, I mean, if you're in, in, in Wisconsin, Minnesota, you're probably used to de large amounts of snow. But at the same time, um, I wanted to share that with you guys and what to expect there. Um, right here says lake, lake effect snow. So let's take a look at this here. Blankets, parts of. I couldn't read the rest of it. Okay, right here it says blankets. Uh, 
It says Lake Effect Snow Blankets Parts of Michigan. So this is from Michigan, this video here you're watching. It says this rescue horse rolling in the snow in Mason, or is this a pup taking a fluffy frolic uh, in, twin sister, uh, in twin sisters? So you get to see a couple animals there playing in the snow there in Michigan. So that's a pretty neat video. Um, let's see here. Now here's a picture here that says this is the Lake Effect Snow Machine. The Lake Effect Snow Machine over Lake Ontario. But you can see the storm. Is that not that's a beautiful picture. I mean it a little it could be a little scary as you see that coming towards you, right? The snow you know, we know it's just a snowstorm, but at the same time, that's a, that's an actually a really cool picture. Um for sure. Uh let's so let's see what else we got down here. Um right here, let's take a look at this here, see what this one shows us. So this says the lake effect snow will continue to raise and the risk of slippery and dangerous travel downwind of the Great Lakes into Wednesday afternoon. So here you can see the snowy and windy conditions um, and, and which areas uh, are supposed to get what. So you can see here you have a mix of rain and snow uh, basically on the tip of the east coast there and especially snow um, up in Michigan over in Wisconsin and um, Minnesota. Now, thankfully, I live probably about in this area, so it, thankfully, it looks like we're going to avoid most of the heavy or most of the snow accumulation, which is actually good. So that that's definitely good for me here in Ohio. Now, let's take a look at this video here. I guess this is so, oh, is that, I guess this is some of the, all right, so there you have that, I was, I didn't, I was going to try and talk over, but that was kind of loud, sorry, um, but I guess that that is, is that's the, the current road conditions on I-90, um, so, as you can see, you know, you got to be safe out there. You always got to be safe. I see so many people still driving like crazy in, in these in these winter conditions, and then then they wonder why they wreck and then cause accidents and, and unnecessary loss of life. You know, when can, roads are like this, you have to be safe. I don't care what kind of vehicle you have. I don't care if it's all you know four wheel drive. It doesn't matter. Um, you, you, you are still going to slip and slide around in certain conditions just like everyone else, but people don't understand that and they're still going 80 on the highways when the roads are like this. So, you know, just, you know, hopefully, uh, you know, you can just slow it down a little bit in winter conditions like this. But, uh, yeah, I thank you guys, uh, so much for watching these videos and supporting the channel. We're growing every day and, um, that's because of you. Be sure to share, like, subscribe, and comment down below. But other than that, I hope you guys have a great day. Peace.